lawmakers are going to get their work out in today with all the high stakes hearings happening here on Capitol Hill. Let's start first with the budget. House Democrats are planning to confront acting White House Budget Director Russ Vogt on a number of issues. The flashpoints include not just the border wall, but also the president's proposal for big reductions in Medicare spending, as well as new work requirements to qualify for government benefits and their projections for trillion dollar deficits starting this year. Also in the House, Wells Fargo CEO Tim Sloan, he's going to get grilled by the Financial Services Committee. He is expected to be contrite in his testimony. In his written remarks, he says that he takes full responsibility for the bank's many problems. And he wrote that we have worked to remedy these issues and we have worked to address the root causes that allowed them to occur in the first place. And he says that Wells Fargo is a better bank than it was three years ago. But guys, there are 60 members or so of the Financial Services Committee. So he is going to be sitting in that hot seat for quite a while. We're going to hear from Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Rashida Tlaib, the chairwoman Maxine Waters, also known as a very tough questioner herself. Now, over in the Senate, we are going to hear from U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer. This hearing is ostensibly going to be about the World Trade Organization, but there are reports that Lighthizer has now spoken with China's Vice Premier Liu He. They've talked over the phone, so we will be on high alert for any comments he makes on the status of those trade negotiations, as well as the USMCA and auto tariffs.